So, I'm Robert Bartz, and my talk is titled A Tale Told by an Idiot, and maybe by the time we're done, we'll figure out who the idiot is. Oh. All right, anyway, what I want to talk to you today about is meaning. Specifically, what does this mean? Can anyone tell me it's a mouse on top of a cat on top of a dog? This is from the most uncomfortable and bizarre day in my life, and I won't explain that, by the way. So, I had to figure this out. One place I went was the Cincinnati Observatory, and they taught us that stars are actually hundreds of millions of light years apart. Viewed from a different angle, the constellations we see look nothing like you think they do. And constellations are a perfect example of pareidolia, which is actually assigned meaning when there is none. If you see an angry tree or a pensive bathtub, it's not there. So I'm an engineer, I need a basic model. There is what is and what you think about it. What is external, facts, circumstances, details. What you think about it, this is all the stuff in your head. Perspective and pareidolia, all right? A simple example that we've all been there, a girl, someone you like, gives you that look. She likes me, she doesn't like me. I need to drink copious amounts of alcohol, right? We've all been there. So, you, what, you, what it means is over there. That's all you. So one example, puppy torturing people. All right, if you take puppies and split them into two groups and give them electric shocks and put one group in a thing where they can jump out, they jump out. If you put one into a group where they can't jump out, they lay down and take the shock. If you take those puppies and put them in the thing where they can jump out, they lay down and take the shock. It's called learned helplessness. Have you ever learned to be helpless in a situation? Along those lines, apparently I'm ahead, is learning to quit. Every, almost everyone in here, you learned to walk, right? You got up, you went, you started moving, I bet you all fell down. But you were resilient, you persevered. When in your life did you learn to quit? And also at some point in your life, you will learn to attach yourself to things. I am money, I am my favorite sports team's outcome, I am my job, I am my relationships. Am I really those things? You learn to attach yourself to those. So it's time for a different point of view. <laughs> I like to call this the rocks point of view. Uh, it's kind of more a neutral perspective. So if we remove you from that situation and what you think about it, what's left? <laughs> what's left? It means nothing. It means nothing. Without you, it means nothing. You give it all the meaning. All the power is in taking responsibility for that perspective. You get to choose. You either have to do something about your circumstances or do something about your state of mind. And being uncomfortable with silences. So stop whining, stop complaining, stop waiting, and change your perspective. And so now I have a few thoughts from today's modern philosophers that I think might be helpful. Train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. Master Yoda, guess what? It doesn't belong to you anyway. That's only something in your head. You can't lose it, it doesn't belong to you. What's the, you should think instead, it's a gift. Every day, everyone you love, they're a gift. Something to be enjoyed in that moment, as we've talked about up here. Or if you happen to lose one of those things, our boy Dr. Seuss will back us up. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. You can only be grateful for all those great things in your life. And now on to the wisest philosopher of all. The most profound thing I read this year was on Twitter was from Jim Carrey. And he said, the biggest problem we have in the world is lack of self-love. Every cruelty comes from those who don't know what you're worth. So, love yourself, all right? Mainly because I don't need to put up with your crap anymore. But, all right, love yourself. No one will give this to you, right? Go back to the model. This is something that's inside you that you give yourself from something else. You give it to yourself. So in conclusion, what does it mean? This picture and this talk have been like a tale told by an idiot.
full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. <laughs>